Beppa is a security camera app. With Beppa, you can recycle your old unused Android phones and convert them into security cameras. To get started, install Beppa on each Android device you intend to use. Log in with the same Google account on each device. Select camera for the phones which will act as cameras. Define a specific name for each camera. For example, living room. Voila, the system is ready to use. Plug the charger into the camera device. Place the camera in a desired location. Now you can minimize the app. Select viewer for the devices which will act as viewing devices. On the viewer, use the camera button to get the available cameras. Now you can select a camera to start the live stream. You can zoom the video in and out by pinching the viewer screen. On the upper section of the screen, you can see the camera battery level, camera name, and camera info, such as the resolution and frame rate. You can then switch between the front and back camera, turn the flashlight on and off, turn the audio microphone on and off, vibrate the camera, or change the camera settings with the buttons on the right side of the screen. You can also hold the talk button at the bottom center and start talking to the camera. So the camera will play your voice in the event you want to speak to the person on camera. On the camera settings, you can change the selected camera info. For camera resolution, you can select any of the resolution options by clicking on resolution. Remember, the higher resolutions require higher internet bandwidth. You can change the camera's captured frames per second by selecting one of the available frame rates on the frame rate list. In the audio volume section, you can adjust the camera's audio volume. The audio volume is specifically for the loudness of audio when holding the talk button and speaking to the camera. This app has a motion detector system that can be adjusted using the motion detector item in the settings menu. If you turn the motion detector system on, the camera will send notifications to the viewers when motion is detected. The motion detector sensitivity can be adjusted from very low to very high. Keep in mind that all of the camera settings are specifically for the selected camera only. You can also go to the viewer's menu, then notification, and turn notifications off. This way, the viewer will not receive any notifications. Now you can rest assured Beppo will be always working in the background and notify you if it detects any motion.